Well, I don't understand. Where did he go? I have no idea. This is just like what happened to the other guy. Yeah, why are they just disappearing into thin air? Maybe people just do that in this realm, just disappear into nothing. Unlikely. People do disappear, but uh, there is always some explanation behind it, even if it's not obvious. What are you suggesting then? That someone attacked both Morton and the, the other guy with the hat? Yes, and I think I know who. Who? Me? Why would I know? You were fighting with Vitrius when he disappeared. Yeah, but I had no reason to get rid of Morton. And what about you? What about me? You offered to get rid of Vitrius. Why can't you say that? There is a problem in my memory bank. I can only start like names of six letters or less. What about Oddball then? Well, duh, there's only like six letters in his name. Spell it. I-T, I'm not dumb. Oh, I meant Oddball's name. O-D-D-B-A-L. You, you know what? Fine. Fine, but let's go with that. It clearly works. I don't know. I don't understand. It works. Okay. I, oh, I, I, I did not offer to kill Vitrius. Only to scare him. And I also had no reason to get rid of Wily. And Starman is still helping NASA. Hmm. Then it must be Oddball. Let's go to the media dimension. Wait, we can't just go accuse Oddball of making people disappear. We need to know a bit more. Like if anyone else has entered the studio or not. The perimeter is monitored by Starman. Even in his absence, his computer might have information. Let, let's go to Starlight the Internet. Must I? There is only one more world to defeat! And it's the fantasy section! But it's going to be so bad! You have no way of knowing that! Actually, there is two things. One, video games don't like to be beaten. <sighs> so I am prepared for this to be extra hard and extra sneaky. But you've been using save states, so what's the problem here? Okay, you got a point there. Uh, um, but my other point is the fantasy section was the worst part of the movie. And they have very, very little to work with. Uh, sounds like this is going to cause you a great deal of misery. Yes, wait, what? Pain! A great deal of pain! Yes, let's begin. On Adventureland is the Golden Brick Road. Clearly taken from the book of Wizard of Oz, where it was the Yellow Brick Road in the movie. And I still have my sword! Never mind. I wonder if those hurt. You know, probably. We'll just assume yes. Okay, get ready for Time Zone B. Alright. You know, these narrow books are not very good for platforming. Definitely when the controls are so loose, like this game has it. And some of them aren't even needed, apparently. Oh boy. Jump? Of course not. Of course. Well, that's gonna be... the end. Now, better luck next go. I hate you, game. I just want you to know that. What? Is that a big bad wolf spitting pigs? I guess so. Then again, why would this game use logic now? The heck was that? I have no clue if Humpty Dumpty can hurt you or not. 
Again, we should assume yes, otherwise it's kind of pointless. Oh look, an egg! Oh god, a dragon! Oh god, it hurts. And is apparently invulnerable. Run! Go back. Get the shoes. Go all invincible. Or visible. Ugh. Nope, dodge the pig. That is a big bad wolf spinning pigs. I do not know what the creators of this game were on. I just wish I had some. And death by another book. How is this supposed to get kids to read? The thing that damaged me the most has been books. If a kid plays this game, he's gonna develop a fear of books. A completely rational fear after this game. Get ready for pools of goo. Clearly a world of goo where friends, but this is way too early for that, so that can't be right. You know, I don't remember this part of the movie. Dark, dank caves. Ah! Filled with knights and dragon eggs. At least we get all these golden coins. Okay, what now? Oh god! Don't stand there. Whoop! These jumping books are the worst. Okay. Oh. Maybe we can go this way? Yeah, you know, no, no, I can't. Ah! Shouldn't deviate from just running straight forward. Oh, look at that! You can hurt them like that. Kinda cool, actually. Oh! He respawned there. Okay, let's take the upper route. Ah! Oh. Yeah, screw it. What did I find? Oh, sweet! A library card! Yeah, I don't care about these things. where we were, only now I can't jump. Oh boy. Also, one more hit will kill me, so whoop, here's another knight. Whoop, these things fall. And there's another book there, and another knight there, and the book! The exit book. Wasn't it a sign in the, sh in the movie? Alright, I think I got enough time for one more level, which is probably going to turn into three more levels. Knowing how well I manage time while I'm in this game. Time doesn't exist, it just stretches and envelops you in the pain and suffering that is Page Master. I, it's, it's at this point I realize I can actually be reading a book at this moment and be having more fun. Oh, you can grab onto that. Didn't know that. So now we're on the Beanstalk level. Amongst what looks like hell behind us. Oh, another knight. I think there are more knights here than there are in the Crusades. Oh. Oh. Oh, another dragon egg. Run! Crap, you didn't respawn. Oh, but that thing did. There we go. sure why that respond when I was an inch off the screen, but not when I was a foot off the screen. Oh, look at that, another book. Yeah, 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 I lied. One more. This is gonna turn into, like, fighting games. One more match! Ten matches later, one more match! Dragon's Spleen. There is no apostrophe for the word dragons, so... Good literacy there. I don't even know what to make of that. Multiple dragons, and the singular spleen. And another time challenge, great lord.
board of time. It gets in your head, and the book doesn't respond nicely. That wouldn't be bad, wouldn't it? Oop, missed it again. So we have to fall down again. Hopefully grab onto that book. This is kind of playing out pretty poorly. Dead. Video games should learn not to do these vertical shafts unless you can handle it. And I'm dead. Good news is I still have nine lives. Apparently the counter does go above nine. They just didn't give a shit to make it go above nine. Then again, would you give a shit to make the counter go past nine in this game? Would you give a shit about any part of this game? Yeah, I'm not going down there to get that. Oh, I don't even want to know what that's going to do. Probably another round to get another library card. So, now that the first part of the fantasy section is cleared, what about more of that story? The hero traveled throughout the land and finally found an ancient relic that could outdo the monster's evil magic at the top of a mountain. A medallion with powers to control the northern winds. With it, he could gain access to the palace and defeat the monster. He bailed his way through powerful wizards, roads, dangerous traps, treacherous swamp serpents, and fiendishly placed laser turrets until he made his way to the old throne room where... Uh, I can tell you the rest of the story next time. I am starting to get really tired of this next time bullshit. And I'm getting tired of your constant delays! Oh, I'm only delaying because you keep hassling me. I don't even feel like playing anymore. You know what? You will do what I say, and we will continue on as planned! Sure. Now, say goodbye! Bye. Ah, close enough! Well, the security system says no one has either entered nor left the premises. Wait, how is that possible? I don't know, but I'm starting to fear for our friends. 